Hello you guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be showing you guys my upgraded new room. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this desk that you guys are going to see right here. Um, I basically outgrew this desk. I always have stuff on top of the desk because nothing fits in it. So it's time for an upgrade. Hello you guys, so today I wanted to show you guys how I revamped my nail room. Um, so this is something that has been long awaited just because um, it has been something that I've been upgrading over time. So I ended up waiting a lot longer than I should have to redo my room. But with that being said, you guys are going to be getting a room tour. But I do want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel just because we currently, let's see where we're at. This morning when I checked, we were at 601. So, and I believe we're probably still at the same. I don't know if you guys could see that, but we are at 102 subscribers. You guys, I am so happy because <laughs> me and John, we were just talking about this last night when we went out um, for Chick-fil-A. We ended up, we were talking about like how it was so crazy because at the beginning of um, doing YouTube and stuff that I had I remember I was so frustrated because there was this video that I had uploaded and it was like one of my first videos that had oh, like a good amount of views but I mean at the time like especially for just starting I only had 50 views on that video and I was so devastated because I accidentally deleted it and I was so frustrated and I was so mad at myself because um I was just like dang like you know like why like I should have like not did that like the things that I was doing at the time like I wasn't I don't know I really didn't think that I was going to delete the video but yeah so I was like devastated I thought like that was my most viewed video and I was just like I'm never going to be able to get any more subscribers and I don't know it was just like a bad day for me that day but it is so crazy because now we're at 602 subscribers. So thank you guys for everybody who's subscribed, who's been here ever since the very, 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 very beginning of my channel, just because it is something that has been a work in progress. Like even when I first started, I was just doing um, like videos from my phone. And then after, from there, like I ended up doing videos like trying to use different cameras and stuff and some of it wasn't even like that great of quality so thank you guys who have stuck around from the very very beginning um so yeah let's go ahead and jump into the video so i ended up getting i want to kind of give you guys the rundown of my nail room so i started out with the desk the desk i paid probably around like 300 dollars when i first started in the shop and then after i brought that with me when i had came home to my nail studio at the house that I used to live in and then I had brought it here so I've had it at three different places it is a pretty good nail desk um I wish that I could or I would have reviewed it for you guys just because that was my starting desk and it was pricey um but I feel like if I were to choose if you guys have the room to do the Ikea desk honestly I would definitely go with the Ikea desk instead just because the price points of them were pretty much the same because um, for the nail desk, it had the vent in it, it had the light that came with it, so it was around $300. And with that being said, like, I don't know, that's only on follow this, it doesn't come with a vent, but honestly, the vent irritated me because I don't know if you guys noticed in some videos that like when I would be filing or buffing and whatnot, like the thing, the vent underneath the towel, it would rattle. So I don't know, that would irritate me so much just because I didn't want you guys to get frustrated by it and stuff and whatnot. But anyways, so in the lamp that came with it, I never really used it to be honest. I didn't really like it. I'll show you guys the other desk that I had. Um, okay, so this is the other nail desk that I had. So on Amazon, it is $324. It was a pretty good desk. Um, it was with shipping. Shipping was expensive. Um, and so the width of the table, like from you and the client, that was 17 inches. And then the length of it was 47 inches long. But it had like the little baskets and stuff on it. Um, it was really cool. It even came with the arm cushion. That's something that I'm going to need to purchase over again. But yeah, that was 
it, but the only thing that's different is the light. I don't know how that light is. So, but the one that I had, it was like a standard like desk lamp that you screw in a light bulb to. Okay, so let me show you guys my nail room. I am super proud of it. Um, I do plan on doing more to it, so just be patient with me. I will do an updated version. Again, I wish I would have freaking took the videos, that, or I wish I would have took videos of all of my nail areas. If I can find a picture, I will post it for you guys just because, I don't know, it's something that, I don't know, because I know I did a cleaning video in my nail room a while back, but I had never posted it. So let me see if I can find some of those videos and I could show you guys the journey that we went through to get here where we are at now. Um, some things that I do want to let you guys know about this room. I am not happy with the carpet. I don't feel like carpet is good for a nail room. So with that being said, I do want to eventually change the carpet to wood floors. So yeah. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys my nail room. Alright you guys, so this is the new nail desk that I upgraded to. You are able to put this further apart, this the vanity things that are underneath it. And you could put this pole underneath it, but for right now I just put it right there just for the meantime. But I'm going to tell you guys where I had gotten everything. So, but this is what my nail room looks like. So right here we do have my mirror i got this from a state sale so i don't know where you could repurchase this those vases i also got from an outdoor swap meet i thought they were gorgeous it was so 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 pretty like the detail on them are so pretty but i just have them stacked upside down um just because this is a vase and this is a vase so there's two of them but i just like the height of it i might change it and put it in one of these corners for a bigger plant but this is my plant i don't know what this is called my friend me and her we ended up picking this up and we just call it the mexican mom plant because my mom has one her mom has one and my grandma has one so it's a mexican mom plant okay well these are like pearl beads i do want to get a donkey tail plant for my nail room um let me know if you guys want to be updated on my house plants i do have a personal youtube so um i could go ahead and show you guys all of my house plants but this is my crystal my mom had gotten me this i believe she had got it at a yard sale um i'm not really sure exactly but she had found that for me and i thought it was super pretty i'm kind of debating whether or not to put it over here on this little stand thing um so we'll see with that and then after this dust i did get for ikea it was on sale when i got it so it was like 70 dollars and this box it houses all of my my press on nails so you guys could see those if you guys don't follow me at Opulence Nail Co., you guys sure can. But you could take out the drawers and then um, put the nail tips in here. And then I also have some nail tips in the back right here. Those are something that I need to put away. So these two drawers, what are in them, it's very messy. So that's something that I need to work on. But I have my phone in here right now. These drawers, the only thing that sucks about them is they don't go too far out. So um, so this stand, I use it for when I'm doing nails and I need to put my phone on it to watch a movie or something. Or if like my clients are showing me a YouTube video usually. And then this is my book that kind of like houses all of my ideas and whatnot in there. Um, oh, and this is a quote. It says, ask yourself if you're doing today or if you're doing what today is getting closer to where you want to be tomorrow. And I thought that was super sweet. Um, my my old own, The old owner of the salon that I used to work at, she had actually um, printed that out for us. And I thought that was super sweet. Um, so I just kept it because I really like it. It's kind of like a motivation thing for me. And then this is like something to wipe down like my counters and stuff. Because believe it or not, this thing gets like pretty dusty. And then this is just like hair care products matches. So if I have a candle, more press on nail tips back there. Um, and then just double sided tape. And then my my pack of this was a pack of my my receipts. So for one of my business and like those are like gimbals and whatnot in there. And then this is just um, all of my markers to write on my chalkboards and whatnot. And then. These are tubes to clean out my my printer because sometimes that thing gets clogged. And this is a hack, you guys. If you guys 
have a printer and you use it for work, get these tubes and stick them on like the little heads and then put alcohol and water in them like a warm little, like make sure it's warm and put them on there and it will get everything clogged. Okay, so this is all of my markers for my whiteboard and my my chalkboard and then my pens for my books because I color code everything. Okay, so that is pretty much it for right here. Okay, so this chalkboard right here I did get from Michaels. It was only like $20, so it was really affordable. And I wanted to put my, I want to erase all of this in, because i seen this design on TikTok. I forget the girl's name. But anyways, I ended up doing this. I thought it would be really cool, but it looks kind of beachy to me. Um, but yeah, so I did end up getting this and I want to put my logo up at the top of there for Opulence Nail Co. And then have like some cute little sayings at the bottom for when my clients come. All right, so now this is the desk. This is what you guys have all been waiting for. Um, so these are Ikea Alex drawers, but they're in like black gray. But I think the desk is considered black. So anyways, um, you guys seen how I did my lamp how I did it at the bottom the tape is on there really really good so I don't have to worry about that falling that double-sided tape is amazing you guys but this is my chair or my client's chair this one I did end up getting a metal one just because I did have a wooden one and one of my clients actually broke it so I wanted to make sure I got something super sturdy and ended up getting this from Marshalls I think I'm I'm kind of going back and forth about updating my chair i don't know let me know what you guys think okay so right here this little platter thing that all of my stuff is on i have gotten this from target for three dollars and my artistic nail art lamp i do want to try a different one a different lamp so let me know if you guys know any affordable ones down below that i could try out or that you guys are maybe wanting to try out but you want to see a video on it so just because I'm kind of curious to see it because I've seen some a lot cheaper ones than this one. This one is pricey, but um, I've seen some affordable ones that I thought about doing a video on just to see if they kind of compare, you know, um, get more like bang for your buck type of thing. This one, it does have a sensor on it and stuff. If you guys want me to do a video on this and show you guys all about it, what I think and whatnot, I will go ahead and show you guys or do a video on that. So these are the priests, uh, these are the Apriest Extended Gel, they're a soft gel. Um, I have them on here on this little decorative plate thing, and yeah, I just thought it was super cute. And my plant, John's aunt had gotten us this as a housewarming gift, but I just put it in here just because I love all the green plants. Um, so this light... I do have one linked below in the description that is similar to this one. It is from the same brand. I did get this from the salon that I first worked at when it had shut down. Um, she was selling all of this stuff and I just wanted the lamp. I didn't want the desk. And this lamp has, it was used before she had even gotten it. So let's just say this lamp is probably about 10 years old and it is amazing you guys. And you're able to like... It swivels from the base. You guys are able to bend it from here, put it on whatever side the desk you want. I feel like this is amazing. I love it. I love how long it is. It basically covers your whole work area. So it starts from right here to right here. So it is really good. The light from it is super, super good. I'll show you that in a second. And then, of course, that's just my laptop. This is just um, my Manny. Pro Passport. I love this. This is from Koopa. Um, I could go ahead and show you guys an updated review on it just because there were things that happened with the drill after I had did my review when I first did the unboxing. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. And so this is what my desk looks like from this side. And the reason why I put this stuff on here is because I didn't want it to scratch the desk. So that was the whole reason for this. This is also a chair that I had got. I had actually got this from Ross. So you guys were able to update your nail room, have it super cute and affordable. I mean, chairs are kind of pricey as it is. But I had gotten this one. This one was my favorite for a long time. But I don't feel like the bottom of it is as sturdy as I'd like it. So I ended up switching. Okay, so... This is, I ended up turning on the light for you guys so you guys could go ahead and 
see that it is so 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 light like if you put it underneath in this thing also swivels a little bit so if you want it to face more this way or more the other way it is a little bit stiff when you do it just so you guys know it's not something that's like easy to turn which is kind of nice um but sometimes like doing it with one hand is kind of hard but when you're doing nails it's easy whatever easier whatever but um so yeah that gives off a lot of light this chair was from staples i had actually my grandparents gifted it to me from my or from their computer desk because they didn't use it okay so let's get into the drawers because i know that's what everybody is interested in so you guys this is all of my opi caption and china glaze and there is a few random ones in here but for the most part that is what this drawer is these are regular polishes um, if you guys have been watching me, you guys noticed that I did switch to gels. These are just in case for like stamping plates and whatnot. Or if I do get somebody with a manicure, um, or you know, like I just keep these just in case. And they're perfect. None of them bump. I feel like even if you guys wanted to do a little bit higher of bottles, because you could see there's one right here that's a little bit higher, that the drawer, it still closes perfectly. And you probably have about another about like a half an inch or a quarter of an inch before they start hitting so if you guys are looking for this desk and then this desk this drawer doesn't have anything in it besides my rings for pictures this one it has my paper towel roll i do want to end up putting it either right here to hide it like drill it underneath the desk i seen that on natalie tails um but yeah she and then this is a photo or to take my acrylic photos and this is another nail plate this is one that i was gonna be putting in a giveaway just because i love these things so 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 much so let me know if you guys are interested in a giveaway i'm thinking about doing one once we hit a thousand subscribers so and these are all of my tips that i have for my press on nails and then these are also photo props. I had actually made these um, out of resin. So if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. But this is what they look like. I ended up making those. And so when you go and get fur or something, I had gotten this fur at Joann's, just in case you guys are wondering. All of the nail tips and everything will be linked down below. Oh, and then back here, this is like a stand that I had first gotten when I started to work on press-on nails. It was this little baby, so I got like the cheapest tack that I could find, and it has this thing. You guys could probably sometimes see this in videos, but I liked this just because you're able to throw all of the little magnetic things in here. But okay, so this drawer right here, this houses all of my boxes. Um, and then this is my dirty towel area. This is like where I'm going to be keeping my towels. I don't know if I should keep my clean towels in here or my dirty ones. I keep going back and forth, but yeah. Okay, so for this side, we are going to... This, is, this side has a lot more stuff in here. This is like mostly my acrylic stuff. Okay, so this drawer, it goes pretty far back. Or all of them go pretty far back. It Like the desk over there, they do have this empty negative space i get i think that's what people call it um but yeah that it's like kind of hard to get to back there so i think like it's like about four inches okay so these are all my gel swatches they're all right here so i don't want to keep them on the desk anymore just because a lot of times they just fall all over the place with my remote i have my remote for my fan that's up above i have the remote in it i does the lights and everything else from sitting right here so i don't have to get up while i'm doing a nail set if i do get hot and then i have my pink acrylics from young nails i have my elf brush this is to dust off the any extra dust i do like also using this kind of brush to make sure i get in the cuticles and like scrub out the the dust and then this is stamping plates i do have my stickers in here because i just threw them in here the other day when i was working but these are my Louis Vuitton ones. These ones I'm thinking about putting them on the shop. I have them on one of the sets. And then these are also my old English decals. You could barely see what they look like. 
but we'll just shove those there for now. And then this is my acrylic system. So whenever I'm working on acrylics, I have all my drill bits in here, but whenever I'm working on acrylics, I just take this whole plate out, put it on my desk, and we're good to go because it has my monomer, it has my dehydrators, my primers, and my cuticle oil from when I'm finishing up. And so these are all my tools and my dap and dishes. And these are all of my top coats and an extra primer that I kind of just threw in here. But I think that I need to throw away, actually. Um, but yeah, so the top coats that I have are the Jalix. This is actually for nail foils. This is my resin from Montage Resin. You guys already know I love Montage Resin. And then Koopa Matte Top Coat. I also get this from Montage. They have this in their store. I have another backup one. I have this Mia Secret. Got this from Montage as well. Um, I got this OPI from... It's a base coat from Salon Centric. Salon Centric, I got this. The Young Nails Finish Gel. Another bottle of resin. The Montage UV Finish Gel. The LED one. And then I got this Koopa Lact Matte Top Coat also in here. So those are all the top coats. The next... One, this is so satisfying for me. I love this drawer, you guys. Look at all these polishes. Yes, I have, over the years, I've had gotten more and more and more. There's more nail swatches back there. Um, that they're for actually the regular polishes that I have in that drawer over there. But these are all of my Tracy's Nails polishes. They are so amazing. I love her brand. Go check her out. Um, she will also be linked down below. I love her product so much and just an owner herself. She is amazing you guys So go make sure you guys check her out. Please follow her go purchase some polishes This is not sponsored. I just feel like she's one of the kindest business owners anytime I had questions She's always reached out to me and if I tag her in my work She's always so sweet and she'll like repost it and stuff. She's just an amazing owner overall but anyways these are OPI gels. This is what I first, or these are what I first started out with just because I felt like they were more affordable. And honestly, they, they're very sheer. Um, some of them, they are my favorites, like the Walt. You guys, if you guys see me use that, Walt is great. I love this. And then I have a regular white top coat because sometimes even over the gel, I'll do my designs in this white. And sometimes I will, or for, for a while now, I have been using the white from Tracy's Nails. But these are my OPI ones. These are ones that I started to get. And then once I realized Tracy's Nails, then that kind of went out the window. And then I also gotten these Creations. These are actually from, um, let me focus it real quick, just because I know some of you guys were really interested in this from the haul that I had did. So make sure you guys check out the haul. You guys could see these swatch. These are so beautiful. And then I have more Tracy's Nail Gel Pots. Those came as a free gift in my order when I had ordered this whole kit. So this comes in a whole kit if you guys want to purchase. I know she is going to be restocking soon. So keep an eye out on that because once she has them, they go super quick. Okay, so this is my my glitter drawer and my art drawer. Or pretty much just my art drawer. So these are all the glitters I have. And all of my stones, my Swarovski's. And my other glitters. And then I have chromes in here. And these are my Aprice nail art inks. This is the first set that they had came out with. And it was the black on here on the first set that they came out with. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of it because it looks more blue. It doesn't really look black. But um, these are what they look like. And then back here, I'm still kind of figuring out a way to file all of these just because... They're all like my chromes and whatnot. I do have a lot of my stuff in here. So when I first started buying from Montage Nails, they would put all of their glitters in these super small containers. But now they upgraded to these, which I think are amazing. I feel like they're perfect for how I like them and whatnot. So um, yeah, they did definitely upgrade. I love their products. They're my local nail supplies and I am super happy with them. Okay, next drawer is tips. Oh, this fell over. This drawer, I'm still kind of having 
are like even my art drawer and this drawer i'm kind of having a hard time organizing i don't know exactly how i want to do it just because everything shifts all over every time i open it so under here i do have another box of nail tips those are extras that i don't really grab for these are the ones that i use i just keep them like this so i'm able just to slide them out i kind of have it set up similar to my other one and the only thing that is i don't if you guys watched my clean with me video these were actually able to stand up in the drawer but of course in this drawer they're not able to because they'll hit so i just have it laying down so far with these bottles oh I thought I wasn't having a problem with them, but my buffer is stuck. <laughs> so I guess I can't have my stuff leaned over like that. Um, but anyways, these are like all of my brushes and the buffer in this file. They're actually just for my press-on nails. I keep them in here for that. And then these are all of my brushes that I have. I want to do a different way of organizing this drawer just because it looks crazy. But... These are just my Aprice blending fluid. It used to be pink, but now it's clear. Um, and then this is my Bond Aid, the pH balancing agent. This is a refill. And then a refill top coat just in case I do a regular manicure, which is rare. It's OPI Avoplex. This is um, a cuticle exfoliating remover. And then this is great for... Um, your resin it activates the resin so it makes sure it cures as soon as this stuff hits it it is cured and then this is just craft glitter that I had gotten from the store and these are Mia secret Mia secret I actually really like their brand also these are where the buffers are from as well the one that's stuck to there and so these are all of my sponges this is how they come I know some of you guys were asking me in another video of what kind of sponges these are these I got from Dollar Tree so they're all they're all stuck together which is nice just because they don't get messy in the drawer and you don't really need like something to house them in which eventually i think that's what i might do but they come in this like almost, i want to say like a brick or like a panel i don't know but you just pull them apart okay so this is just like extra stock this is like um extra glitters that i put in like some of the containers in this top drawer and then these are restock of the protein bond that i use 